Hello fellow travelers, my name is Luca Fiore. I'm Ben. I'm Moby. He's got the earphones on. We are driving home after watching Star Wars, The Search for More Money. I'm just gonna tell you this right away. We are a spoiler show. Yeah. Yeah. Star Wars Episode Seven uh, is the seventh installment of the movie Star Wars. They know that already. You know this already. You know all of this. All this shit and the fighters and the bow. Oh. I'm so fucking thrilled after going to see a movie. JJ has really gotten good at paring the story down to its brass tacks and just like giving people what they need to know. He moves it along, but he knows how to keep the pace. It was organic, it was fluid. It was patient with the story. I love the homage to the first three, you know what I mean? I took a, a breath of, a sigh of relief at one point, like it was right at the beginning. Those desert scenes, the way they were shot, the, the cutting, it just, it felt so familiar and it really brought me back to the original movies. Is this what it took to make a movie that people liked, which was, let's be honest here, very, very similar to the first one, yeah. A New Hope. It's a remix. Yeah. yeah. They took what really worked in, in, in the traditional storytelling and he said, yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that formula at all. Because enough time has passed, it feels different enough. The thing about it was just grounded in such a solid base of humanity and it was so fucking refreshing. I thought that art direction, as compared to four, five, and six, wasn't as good. I wanted new puppets. I wanted new practical creatures. Give me a new X-Wing. Give me a new TIE fighter, you know? I just wanted to see something new and, and so really cool. You only have two years to wait. That's it's true. okay. That's true. You're fine. True. They did that on purpose, and it's to yeah. bring us back into the fold. Maybe that Disney was didn't yeah. want to fuck with that. They didn't, they didn't want us to go, it. what are these new creatures? This isn't the universe I want. It's too early. We had to get good characters. We had to love the fuck out of them. We had to love the fuck out of the story. Creatures would have muddied it up, I think. I want to bring up the visual capturing of it. The camera work was some of the most kinetic I have seen in a long time. However tense and crazy the action scenes were, I didn't feel like I lost track of no. anything that was happening. It was happening. so controlled. So good. The blocking and oh, everything. Dude, the like, blocking. Yeah. Oh my god. What did you guys think the theme of the movie was? Rebirth. Yeah, I thought that too. Totally. Mm -hmm. There was obviously death. Han Solo had to die in this movie maybe. This has to be a real struggle for these characters, and they're gonna do it without their their guru-like figure of Han Solo, who's, oh, he's seen it all, but, so that guy's gotta die. If that scene had gone any differently, I would have been, I would have been a little irate, I think. I felt that little tension of manipulation underneath the surface the whole time. I was like, he's gonna cut him up. The light was drawn out of the yeah. sun for the last time. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. I know exactly what's gonna happen. What do you guys think of the soundtrack? Loved it. I loved the soundtrack. It was a throwback. That was another thing. They kept that in line. It was great. What really threw me, and everybody's waiting for it, the thing that hit me first was like, oh my god, this is the clearest rendition I have ever heard of this score. But then, when I like look back on it, it's like, it didn't have the oomph. All right, I want to talk about the weapon. This is the one part of the movie where I, I felt like, come on. That's it. They're trying the same thing again. It's a big Death Star. Is that a little lame? Or is that just exactly what we wanted? I think the folks at Bad Robot have to figure out ways of threatening people because all they want to do is blow up planets, whether it's Star Trek or Star Wars. The thing about movies after a certain budget, it has to be about the end of the world. How many uh, Star Wars movies out of 10? Oh, come on, lightsabers. <laughs> How many lightsabers Complete the phallic nature. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> right. Kev, what'd you think? I felt exactly like I did when I saw Return of the Jedi. It was like a full boner lightsaber for me. The, sorry, what's that, 10? Yeah, 10. Oh, that's a 10. 10. Full, okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm gonna give it eight and a half lightsabers. The climax was a bit soft. Did I want the same movie or did I want a different movie? And I'll always wonder what it could have been like if it was like a different movie and not designed around A New Hope. I guess eight and a half as well. What if it was something like that I've never seen before? Deep, man. If you know a good shrink, please leave in the comments section below. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, let us know what you thought of the movie. Yeah, let us know because honestly, we love to talk about this shit. I mean, obviously. <laughs> All right, guys, good night.